The next day, they all woke up with a frowning on their faces because they know that they have to work again today. Karu remind them what to do if the customers went to angry mode or insults them. They understand what Karu is trying to say. Karu smiled because he know that he can count on his friends. Some of them went to the bathroom one after another. Some of them are cooking and some of them folds their futons and blankets and then put it aside. Yamaguchi is still sleeping while hugging his pillow and he's also drooling. Daichi noticed Yamaguchi so Daichi asked them if can someone wake Yamaguchi up as soon as possible. Hey, can somebody wake Yamaguchi up? Because we're going to be late for work. Nishinoya, Hanada and Tanaka walk to Yamaguchi. They sit before they're trying to wake Yamaguchi up. They shouted. They even. Shaking Yamaguchi to wake him. They bring the pots and spoons to make a loud sound for Yamaguchi wake up but none of it would work. Enoshita step in. He inhale before he spoke. Wow. K made a strawberry pancakes and french fries for Yamaguchi. How sweet. And suddenly Yamaguchi woke up and jump out of his futons with determinations on his face. Everyone shocked and surprised when Yamaguchi did that kind of stuff just now. Everyone look at Enoshita. He's confused why everyone look at him. What? I know what made Tadashi wake up. When K cook his favorite foods for him, it's basic. How did you know that kind of stuffs? Tadashi didn't tell us. Well, I just know. Okay. Didn't you guys noticed when K cook breakfast for Tadashi? Tadashi woke up out of sudden. That makes sense. K. Where's my strawberry pancakes and soggy french fries? Yamaguchi is so excited. Just sit down there, okay Tadashi. I'll serve it. See. I told you guys so. Come on let's eat before we go. They all sit down and eat before they want to their positions to work. Suki and Suna are busy with watching the CCTV footages while Maki, Matsun and Kunimi are busy with their own phones scrolling on their social medias. After few minutes, Suki and Suna spotted a suspicious guy walking back and forth in the lobby so they called Daichi, Ushijima, Bakudo and Aaron for help. They explain everything to the marshals team. Daichi, Ushijima, Bakudo and Aaron immediately went to the lobby and asked the guy what he's doing. Instead of he's answering it, he's just turn around and run went in the elevator. Luckily there's no one there right now. The marshals run after him. Daichi contacts Suki and asks where's the guy go. Suki tell Daichi what's the location of the guy. They went there immediately. Meanwhile, Yamaguchi and Yachi holding or pulling a big carts when suddenly the suspicious guy running towards them and push them hard into the wall. Luckily Yamaguchi catch Yachi before they hit the wall. Yamaguchi's back hit the wall and he groan in pain. Yachi close her eyes when she thought she hit into the wall but she didn't feel any pain at all instead she heard Yamaguchi groan so she opened her eyes, she look up and saw Yamaguchi back hugging her while Yamaguchi's back on the wall then she realize what happened. So she moved away from Yamaguchi and ask him if he's okay or not. Are you okay? I'm so sorry Tadashi. Yachi is worried. Hey 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 I'm fine, Yachi, I think there's some bones are dislocated but I'm fine. Are you sure? I can call someone or K to take you to the hospital. Yachi, calm down, don't call K, I'm sure he'll be berserk if he know about it. Okay if you say so Tadashi. Daichi, Ushijima, Bakudo, Eren and other marshals came in running and saw everything what happened late. Yachi, Tadashi, are you two all right? Or fine, Wakatoshi-san but what happened? Why are you all chasing after the guy? Oh. K contact me that guy is suspicious because he walking back and forth in the lobby. And when we walk to him to ask why is he walking like that. But he ran. Oh that's why. Yachi and I were walking with the carts when suddenly he's running towards us then he pushed us into a wall. Yachi almost hit her head into the wall but luckily I caught her in time. I got my back hit. Wait what? Are you okay? Is your back hurt? Bakudo is panic. I'm fine, it's just small impact, I'll be fine, now go you guys have to catch that guy. Are you sure that you're okay, Tadashi? Yes Daichi-san. Yamaguchi lied. Daichi and the other marshals walk out. Yachi look at Yamaguchi worried and Yamaguchi noticed it. What? I'm fine, don't worry about me, Yachi. I know you're not fine Tadashi, go to the clinic or the hospital now. But Yachi, 
No buts Tadashi, now go or I'll call K to force you to go to the hospital. Your choice. Okay fine I'll go but what about my job? I'll cover for you and besides this is the only way to thank you for saving me. Okay but are you sure? Yup. Now go. Okay. Yamaguchi went out of the corridor and then Yachi gathered the beddings on the floor. She put them on the cart and then she walked to the stockroom to put the beddings in. At next floor. Oikawa and Shuga are talking while walking because they finish changing the beddings when the suspicious guy running towards them but Oikawa pulls Shuga aside gently. He put his foot out so the suspicious guy tripped before he took out a portable extended stick. He pointed at the suspicious guy and Oikawa smirking victorious. Go ahead move, if you move your body, I didn't hesitate to hit you with this thing. The suspicious guy clenched his teeth and punched the floor. Ushijima and other marshals came in and surprisingly saw the guy lying down on the floor with his face on the floor while Oikawa holding an extended stick proud. Ushijima run towards them. Koshi. Toru. What happened? Are you two okay? Ushijima is worried. Yes we're fine, Wakatoshi, we're just walking when this guy appeared out of nowhere, Toru pulled me aside and he stopped the guy from running. Are you sure that you're really okay? Wakatoshi, we're just fine, don't worry about us, just do whatever you have to do. Oikawa is annoyed. Toru, it's dangerous for you to use that kind of weapon, especially when you're not highly trained to use that. Daichi warned Oikawa. Oh relax Daichi I can use this thing, I watch videos of some people use this. Oikawa is confident. But still it's dangerous, give that to me. Fine, here. You're no fun Daichi. Oikawa give the extended stick to Daichi out of his will but he have to give in. Daichi push the button to make the extended go back to its original form. Daichi put it on his back pocket immediately so that Oikawa can't take it ever again, Oikawa pout. Don't be like that, Toru, if Hajime know about you having a dangerous weapon, I'm sure he'll punish you. Daichi threatened Oikawa. Yeah he won't let go that easily until you're going to sleep and weak. Okay okay but please don't tell Hajime about me holding a dangerous weapon, I still want to walk. Oikawa is scared. Okay. They all started when Bakudo suddenly yell at them. They turn their heads to Bakudo. What's wrong, Kotaro? Is there something wrong? The guy got escape. Let's catch him again. Hurry. Don't worry guys, there's someone I know who can catch him instant. Who is it, Toru? Oh let me call him for you. They all confused. Oikawa grab his phone and contact someone. That's someone who can catch the suspicious guy instantly. On the phone. Hey Magnus, can you please help us out? Yeah sure but what kind of help is that, Toru? Well, their suspicious guy is escaped from my friends. He's still in the hotel, can you catch him please? Sure no problem, I'm faster than him anyways, it's easy for me. Thank you Magnus, I owe one. No Toru, I'm the one who owe you one. Huh. Remember the incident few days ago? I got you in trouble so. Oh. Don't mention it Magnus, it's fine. Bye I have to go. Magnus end the call. He's going to catch the guy. Who's Magnus? The guy is the reason why Hajime and Toru have misunderstanding few days ago. He look like he's the secret love child of Osamu and Rintaro but combination. Oh. He's nice guy. A few minutes later. Magnus already caught the guy in the lobby when the guy is trying to running to the exit when Magnus saw and punch him.